Welcome to the Trave Diaries. In this video we will explore Limburg, Netherlands. Limburg, a province in the southern part of the Netherlands, offers a mix of historical, cultural, and natural attractions. Here are the 10 best places to visit in Limburg. Maastricht. Maastricht is the capital city of the Limburg province in the southern part of the Netherlands. It's known for its rich history, charming architecture, and vibrant cultural scene. Here are some highlights and things to do in Maastricht. Vergetov Square. This central square is a lively hub of activity, featuring picturesque architecture, outdoor cafes, and frequent events and festivals. The square is also home to St. Servatius Basilica and St. John's Church. St. Petersburg Caves. Explore the St. Petersburg Hill and its extensive network of caves. Guided tours take you underground to learn about the history of these tunnels, some of which served as fortifications. Binnenstad, city center, wander through the historic city center, where you'll find quaint streets, boutiques, and restaurants. Don't miss the Ons Leve Rau Basiliak, Basilica of Our Lady, and the Hellport, the oldest city gate in the Netherlands. Maastricht University, this prestigious university is renowned for its European and international programs. You can explore the beautiful, historic buildings that house the various faculties. Museum on Het Vergetov. This museum features a collection of art, artifacts, and historical exhibits related to Maastricht and its history. It's housed in a stunning mansion on Vergetov Square. Bonifantin Museum. This contemporary art museum is known for its distinctive modern architecture and its collection of both historical and contemporary art. Stroll along the Maas River. The riverfront in Maastricht offers a pleasant place for a leisurely walk or a boat tour, with picturesque views of the city. Maastricht Underground. Discover the underground world of Maastricht through guided tours of the Fort St. Peter and North Caves. These tours provide insights into the city's history, including its defensive structures. Market Square, Markt. Visit the Market Square, where you can experience the lively atmosphere of local markets, including food stalls and craft vendors. Culinary Delights. Maastricht is known for its culinary scene. Enjoy traditional Limburg dishes, explore local markets, and savor regional specialties at restaurants and cafes. Hiking and Cycling. The surrounding Limburg countryside offers fantastic opportunities for outdoor activities, including hiking and cycling. Explore the hills, forests, and scenic landscapes in the region. Maastricht is a city that beautifully combines its historic charm with a modern, cosmopolitan atmosphere. Its rich cultural heritage, welcoming atmosphere, and diverse attractions make it a great destination for travelers looking to explore the southern part of the Netherlands. Valkenburg. Valkenburg is a picturesque town in the Limburg province of the Netherlands, known for its stunning landscapes, historical attractions, and unique underground experiences. Here are some of the highlights and things to do in Valkenburg. Valkenburg Castle, Castile Ruin Valkenburg, the ruins of Valkenburg Castle, perched on a hill, offer panoramic views of the town and the surrounding countryside. Explore the castle's history and enjoy the scenic surroundings. Flu Wheel and Grow, Velvet Cave, this underground cave system, once used for mining and later as a shelter, is now open for guided tours. The cave's walls feature impressive sculpted reliefs, and it's often used for events and concerts. Hemaintegrat, Municipal Cave, Another underground experience, the Hamintegrat is a historic marl quarry with guided tours that delve into its history and use during World War II. Kaburg, this hill in Wackenberg is home to several attractions, including the Wackenberg Holland Casino, Thermi 2000, a spa and wellness center, and the Kaburg Cavern. It's a hub for relaxation and entertainment. Wackenberg Caves Christmas Market, during the holiday season, the underground caves transform into a magical Christmas market, offering a unique and festive atmosphere. Wilhelmina Tower. Climb the Wilhelmina Tower for breathtaking panoramic views of Wackenberg and the surrounding hills. It's a great spot for photos. Mergel Rake. This museum showcases the history and uses of marl, limestone, in the region through exhibits and sculptures carved from marl. Wackenberg Thermal Baths. Enjoy relaxation and wellness at the Wackenberg Thermal Baths and Spa Facilities, including Thermi 2000. Castle Schallowen. A nearby castle in Oud-Wackenberg, 
Castle Shaloan is surrounded by beautiful gardens and offers a glimpse into the region's history. Golf Bon Het Rake Van Margraten Golf enthusiasts can tee off at this scenic golf course located a short drive from Bakkenberg. Cycling and hiking, the Limburg countryside around Bakkenberg is excellent for outdoor activities. Explore the hills, forests, and picturesque routes for cycling and hiking. Bakkenberg's unique blend of above-ground historic sites and underground experiences make it a distinctive destination in the Netherlands. Whether you're interested in exploring the town's history, relaxing in the thermal baths, or enjoying the scenic landscapes, Bakkenberg has something to offer every type of traveler. Thorn. Thorn, often referred to as the White Village, Wittstad G, is a charming and historic town located in the Limburg province of the Netherlands. It is renowned for its unique whitewashed buildings and cobblestone streets. Here are some of the highlights and things to do in Thorn. Historic Center. Thorn's quaint town center features picturesque streets lined with white painted houses and historic buildings. The town's distinct appearance, with its white facades, creates a unique and picturesque atmosphere. Abdekirk, Abbey Church, visit the Abbey Church of Thorn, which stands in the center of the town. This church was once part of a women's abbey and showcases remarkable architecture and interior design. St. Michael's Church. Explore the St. Michael's Church, an elegant and historic church featuring impressive stained glass windows and a tranquil interior. Museum Land Van Thorn. This museum offers insights into the history and culture of Thorn. It displays artifacts, artwork, and historical information about the town. Mossplassen. The Mossplassen, a series of lakes near Thorn, offer opportunities for water activities such as boating, sailing, and fishing. The surrounding nature is ideal for hiking and cycling. Sightseeing, take a leisurely stroll through the charming streets and alleys of Thorn, appreciating the well-preserved architecture and the peaceful ambience of the town. Local cuisine, savor regional Limburg dishes and local delicacies in the town's restaurants and cafes. Try dishes like Limburg's vlei, a type of fruit pie, and asparagus, which the region is known for. Thorn Day, the annual Thorn Day is a local festival that celebrates the town's heritage with parades, music, and various cultural events. It's a great time to experience Thorn's unique atmosphere. Thorn's small size and distinctive appearance make it an ideal destination for a peaceful and leisurely visit. The town's historical significance, tranquil ambience, and picturesque architecture make it a delightful place to explore in the Limburg region of the Netherlands. Kirkenhof Castle Kirkenhof Castle, also known as Kastel Kirkenhof, is a beautiful historic castle located near Lissuage in the West Flanders region of Belgium. Here are some key points about Kirkenhof Castle. History, Kirkenhof Castle has a rich history dating back to the 13th century when it was originally a manor house. Over the centuries, it underwent various renovations and expansions, eventually taking on its present appearance. Architecture, the castle is a fine example of Flemish Renaissance architecture, featuring a stately facade, turrets, and a moat. Its red brick construction, along with its picturesque setting amidst lush gardens, creates a postcard perfect scene. Gardens, the castle is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens, these gardens are particularly famous for their extensive collection of spring-blooming flowers, including tulips, daffodils, and hyacinths. The gardens are a sight to behold during the spring season when they burst into vibrant colors. Events, Kirkenhof Castle and its gardens are often used for special events, including weddings, exhibitions, and cultural events. The stunning backdrop and ambience make it a popular choice for such occasions. Public access, while the castle itself is not open to the public, the gardens and the surrounding park are open for visitors. Many people come to admire the gardens and enjoy leisurely walks in this picturesque setting. Location, Kirkenhof Castle is located in the countryside of West Flanders, not far from Bruges. It's a serene and idyllic place that offers a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. 
Visiting Kirkenhof Castle provides an opportunity to explore a historic and visually striking site while enjoying the natural beauty of its gardens. It's particularly famous for its role in celebrating the arrival of spring with the blooming of countless flowers. Gaia Zoo Gaia Zoo is a popular and award-winning zoo located in Kirkrade, in the southern part of the Netherlands. It is known for its focus on providing a natural and spacious habitat for its animals, as well as its commitment to wildlife conservation and education. Here are some key features and attractions of Gaia Zoo. Animal Exhibits Gaia Zoo is home to a diverse collection of animals from various parts of the world. You can explore exhibits featuring mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. The zoo is divided into themed areas, such as the African savanna, rainforest, taiga, and Limburg. Diverse species, the zoo houses a wide range of species, including big cats like lions and cheetahs, primates, giraffes, rhinos, meerkats, and many more. Visitors can observe these animals in enclosures designed to mimic their natural habitats. Lively Atmosphere Gaia Zoo is known for its spacious and open enclosures, allowing animals to exhibit natural behaviors. The layout of the zoo is designed to be immersive, providing visitors with an up-close and educational experience. Conservation Efforts The zoo actively participates in various breeding programs for endangered species. Gaia Zoo's commitment to conservation and sustainable practices is an important aspect of its mission. Educational programs, the zoo offers educational programs and activities for visitors of all ages. These include guided tours, animal encounters, and informative displays that focus on wildlife conservation and ecological awareness. Indoor Rainforest, the rainforest section of Gaia Zoo features a large indoor tropical rainforest, complete with lush vegetation, a waterfall, and a variety of free-flying birds and other creatures. It provides an immersive experience and is a popular attraction. Play Areas For younger visitors, the zoo offers several play areas and a petting zoo where children can interact with farm animals. Dining and Refreshments Gaia Zoo has several dining options, including cafes and restaurants, where you can enjoy meals and refreshments during your visit. Events and Special Programs The zoo hosts various events throughout the year including seasonal activities, animal-themed exhibitions, and opportunities to learn more about wildlife conservation efforts. Accessibility Gaia Zoo is designed to be accessible to visitors of all ages and abilities, with paved paths, ramps, and facilities to accommodate those with disabilities. Gaia Zoo offers a unique and engaging experience for animal lovers, families, and anyone interested in wildlife conservation. Its emphasis on creating natural and spacious environments for its animals and its educational efforts make it a standout destination in the Netherlands. St. Pietersburg Caves The St. Pietersburg Caves, St. Pietersburg Rotten, are a network of caves and tunnels located in the St. Pietersburg Hill near Maastricht, in the Limburg province of the Netherlands. These caves have a rich history and are a fascinating attraction for visitors. Here's what you need to know about the St. Pietersburg Caves. Historical Significance The caves have been used for various purposes over the centuries. Initially, they were quarries, with marl, a type of limestone, being extracted for construction purposes. The marl from these caves was used to build many of Maastricht's historic buildings. Underground Fortifications During times of conflict, the caves were repurposed as underground fortifications and tunnels. During World War II, they served as air raid shelters for the local population. Guided Tours Today, visitors can explore the caves through guided tours. Knowledgeable guides provide insights into the history of the caves, their role during wartime, and the geology of the area. Tours usually include visits to some of the various chambers and tunnels. Impressive artwork, throughout the caves, you can find impressive sculpted reliefs and carvings that depict various historical and mythical scenes. 
These carvings are the result of marlstone mining and quarrying practices. Temperature and Lighting The caves maintain a relatively constant temperature of around 10 to 12 degrees Celsius, 50 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit, year-round. They are illuminated to make exploration safe and enjoyable. Mergul Rauk, adjacent to the caves, Mergul Rauk is a museum that further delves into the history and uses of marl in the region. Visitors can learn about the geology, the carvings, and the traditional crafts related to marlstone. Special events, at various times throughout the year, the caves host special events, such as underground concerts, art exhibitions, and holiday-themed activities. Hiking and Nature The St. Pietersburg Hill is also known for its scenic hiking trails and its role as part of the Limburg landscape. Visitors can enjoy outdoor activities in the surrounding natural areas. Exploring the St. Pietersburg Caves is a unique and educational experience that offers a glimpse into the history, geology, and wartime use of these underground spaces. It's a popular attraction for tourists interested in delving into the heritage of Maastricht and the Limburg region. Seven Hills of Slenigan The Seven Hills of Slenigan, known as the Zeven Hoeveland van Slenigan in Dutch, is a picturesque natural area located in the Limburg region of the Netherlands. This hilly landscape is known for its scenic beauty, hiking trails, and outdoor activities. Here's what you should know about the Seven Hills of Slenaken. Landscape The Seven Hills of Slenaken are characterized by rolling hills, green meadows, and dense forests. The area is located in the southern part of the Limburg province and is part of the Uveland, Hill Country, region, which is known for its undulating terrain. Hiking Trails The hilly terrain offers excellent opportunities for hiking. There are several well-marked hiking trails that take you through the beautiful countryside, providing stunning views of the surrounding landscape. Cycling, the area is also popular among cyclists. The hilly terrain challenges cyclists and offers a variety of routes for both recreational and more serious cyclists. You can explore the hills and valleys on two wheels. Scenic Views the Seven Hills offer panoramic views of the Limburg landscape. From the hilltops, you can enjoy vistas of picturesque villages, rolling fields, and the Gule River Valley. Nature and Wildlife The region is home to diverse flora and fauna, and it's a great place for nature enthusiasts. Keep an eye out for local wildlife and birdwatching opportunities. Villages the surrounding area includes charming Limburg villages like Slenaken and Apen. These villages are known for their hospitality, local cuisine, and quaint architecture. Relaxation The tranquil and serene environment of the Seven Hills of Slenaken offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of urban life. It's an excellent place for relaxation and reconnecting with nature. Local cuisine, while in the area, be sure to sample Limburg's culinary specialties, such as Limburg's vlie, a type of fruit pie, asparagus dishes, and regional cheeses. Cultural Exploration Besides enjoying the natural beauty, you can also explore the cultural and historical aspects of the region, including traditional festivals, local traditions, and the Limburg dialect. The Seven Hills of Slenaken is a beautiful destination for those seeking outdoor activities, stunning landscapes, and a serene natural environment. Whether you're interested in hiking, cycling, or simply enjoying the views, this area provides a wonderful escape into the Limburg countryside. Aachen, Germany Aachen, known as Aachen in German, is a historic city located in the far west of Germany, near the borders with Belgium and the Netherlands. It is renowned for its rich history, cultural significance, and architectural treasures. Here are some highlights and things to do in Aachen, Germany. Aachen Cathedral, Aachener Dom, the Aachen Cathedral is a masterpiece of Carolingian architecture. It was built by Charlemagne in the 8th century and is famous for its Palatine Chapel. The cathedral also houses Charlemagne's Palatine Chapel and various historical relics. Palace of Aachen, 
Kaiser Falls, adjacent to the cathedral is the Palace of Aachen, which served as the imperial residence for Charlemagne and other Holy Roman emperors. Visitors can explore the palace, its courtyards, and the treasure chamber. Elisenbrunnen, this neoclassical pavilion, named after Queen Louise of Prussia, offers thermal mineral water for drinking and is a popular place to relax and take in the atmosphere. Aquas Plaza, a modern shopping center in the heart of Aachen, Aquas Plaza offers a variety of shops, boutiques, restaurants, and cafes for visitors to enjoy. Ludwig Forum for International Art, this museum houses contemporary art and regularly features exhibitions from international artists. It's a great place for art enthusiasts. Market Square, marked, the central market square is surrounded by historic buildings and is a hub for events, fairs, and a Christmas market during the holiday season. Theater Aachen, Aachener Theater, the city's main theater hosts a variety of performances, including opera, theater, and ballet. Suermont Ludwig Museum, this museum displays a diverse collection of art, including European paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. Charlemagne Route, follow the Charlemagne Route to explore key historical sites related to Charlemagne's legacy in Aachen. Parks and Gardens, Aachen offers several parks and gardens, such as the Stadtgarten and the West Park, where you can enjoy leisurely walks and outdoor activities. Aix-la-Chapelle, the French name for Aachen, Aix-la-Chapelle, is often used to refer to the city, reflecting its historical ties to both France and Germany. Aachen is a city with a deep historical heritage and a blend of German and French influences. Its stunning cathedral, royal palace, and rich cultural offerings make it a captivating destination for history buffs and travelers looking to explore a unique and culturally significant European city. The Mainweg National Park The Mainweg National Park, or National Park de Mainweg in Dutch, is a beautiful and diverse nature reserve located in the southern part of the Netherlands, in the province of Limburg. This national park is known for its unique landscapes, including heathlands, forests, swamps, and sand dunes. Here's what you can expect when visiting the Mainweg National Park. Scenic Landscapes The Mainweg boasts a variety of landscapes, including heathlands, woodlands, grasslands, and wetlands. The terrain is characterized by rolling hills, sand dunes, and small streams. Flora and Fauna, the park is rich in biodiversity. Visitors can encounter a wide range of plant and animal species, including deer, foxes, wild boar, and numerous bird species. The heathlands, in particular, offer a stunning display of purple heather during the late summer and early autumn. Hiking and Cycling the main leg is crisscrossed by a network of well-maintained hiking and cycling trails. It's an excellent place for outdoor enthusiasts to explore and enjoy the natural beauty. Observation Towers Several observation towers in the park offer elevated viewpoints, allowing visitors to take in panoramic views of the surrounding landscape and observe wildlife from a distance. Visitor Center the Bezoeker Centrum de Mainweg serves as a visitor center, providing information about the park's ecosystems, wildlife, and activities. It's a great place to start your visit and pick up maps and trail information. Educational Activities The Mainweg offers educational programs and activities for both children and adults, including guided nature walks and workshops. These programs are designed to increase awareness of the park's ecological importance. Picnicking, the park offers designated picnic areas, making it a great place to enjoy a meal surrounded by nature. Cultural Heritage, in addition to its natural beauty, the park also contains several historical and cultural sites, such as the ruins of the Abbey of St. Elizabeth, which adds to the overall experience. Conservation Efforts the Mainweg National Park is dedicated to the conservation of its natural resources, and efforts are made to protect and preserve the unique ecosystems within the park. Events The park occasionally hosts special events and activities, such as nature festivals and wildlife observation opportunities. 
The Mainweg National Park provides a peaceful and natural escape, offering a wide range of outdoor and recreational activities in a scenic and ecologically important setting. It's a wonderful destination for nature lovers and those seeking a tranquil environment in the Limburg region of the Netherlands. Holland Casino Valkenborg Holland Casino Valkenborg is a popular casino and entertainment complex located in the picturesque town of Valkenborg in the Limburg province of the Netherlands. Here's what you can expect when visiting Holland Casino Valkenborg. Gaming The casino offers a variety of games for visitors to enjoy, including slot machines, table games like roulette, blackjack, and poker, and electronic gaming machines. Whether you're an experienced gambler or just looking for some entertainment, there's something for everyone. Dining, Holland Casino Valkenborg features a restaurant and a bar where you can enjoy a variety of culinary delights. The restaurant often serves international and local dishes, and it's an ideal spot for a meal before or after your gaming experience. Entertainment, the casino occasionally hosts special events, such as live music performances, theme nights, and tournaments. Check the casino's schedule for details on upcoming entertainment options. Relaxation, if you're looking to unwind and relax, the casino has a lounge area where you can enjoy a drink, socialize, and take a break from the gaming floor. Exquisite location, the casino is situated in the charming town of Valkenborg, which is known for its picturesque architecture, historical sites, and beautiful landscapes. It's a unique setting for a casino, with a distinct atmosphere compared to more urban gaming venues. Responsible Gaming, Holland Casino is committed to promoting responsible gaming. The casino provides information on gambling responsibly and offers assistance for those who may need it. Membership, to enter the casino, you need to be at least 18 years old and have a valid membership card. You can easily obtain a membership card at the casino, which also offers benefits such as discounts and rewards. Attire, while there isn't a strict dress code, visitors are encouraged to dress neatly and appropriately. Holland Casino Valkenborg offers a combination of gaming, dining, entertainment, and relaxation in a beautiful and historic setting. It's a great place for those looking to try their luck, enjoy a night out, or simply experience the vibrant atmosphere of this Limburg town. Maybe some clips included in this video are not from this country, but still they are added for entertainment purpose only. Ending Lines We made travel videos for you with very hard effort. We need you support, God bless you. Please like and share our video with your friends. How did you like the video? Please tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks again with core of heart. Have a nice day. God bless you.